All right, so just to go back over what we went in class today when we're talking about the scale, um, these are our fractions, 64, 30 seconds. As we look at each one of these increments uh, from line to line is a 64th of an inch or 0 0.0156. So 0 0.0156 equals 160. Fourth, and then um, approximately 32 thousandths equals 132nd. So as we go through there and we can look using uh, the fractions, uh, we've got a half inch here. Uh, 24, if you take 24 and divide it by 64, uh, right here on this 24 line, it would give you the decimal equivalent of 3 eighths of an inch. So right here is 0.375. Um, so you can see uh, what we have is is even though we're looking at, at fractions, we're still really talking about decimals as we go. Um, and so as we look through those, each one of those are those are small increments, no doubt about it. Uh, the 30 seconds are larger in size, and, but same thing. As we go through there, here we got a half of an inch. Uh, here we have a quarter of an inch. And so we can just use some division to be able to figure out what that is in a decimal form. Uh, if we move up into our uh, other scale that we were talking about, where we have um, 100 thousandths of an inch from increment to increment, and then 10 thousandths of an inch uh, from increment to increment. And so uh, 100 thousandths of an inch is 0 0.100. Remember everything that we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about in 100 thousandths. So even though it these are trailing zeros. We're always going to leave three places there, and that is 100 thousandths. Uh, that's for this section right here. Each one of those is 100 thousandths, just a little bit short of an eighth of an inch. Uh, down here, each one of these increments, 10 thousandths. So again, three places out, that's 10 thousandths of an inch is how we would say that. And so as we go here, we have 100 thousandths. Half of that would be 50 thousandths. Each one of those increments in between there, we got 50. Um, then we come in and we go 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And so as we go to measure uh, each individual piece that we might be working on, uh, we can come in and just see uh, the length of each one just by measuring it out with the scale. And we can see what we have here is exactly two inches. Uh, if we move it over here, we have two inches, 50 thousandths right on this edge. And so if you'll just watch those increments closely, you'll be able to see what each one of those are. So we want to use this 100 thousandths maybe for our rougher dimensions, um, you know, just when we're trying to get in the ballpark. Uh, but we can even use these dimensions going down to the 10 thousandths when we're saw cutting. Uh, fractions are also available for that. Our 6-inch scale, which is what comes in our toolkit, that's what you're going to see most of the time. Uh, just remember each one of these increments here on 64th, is 15 thousandths, 6 tenths, almost 17 thousandths. And then you've got um, 32 thousandths and some change on that one is 1 32nd. Uh, just make sure that we're always, when we're, when we're working on parts, that we're working on in decimals and not fractions. Uh, we want to try and keep that fraction um, talk separated. That way we're always kind of working in three-place decimals as we go. Uh, so that's just kind of follow up on what we talked about today. And uh, so you can just kind of look at those and you have an assignment uh, in front of you or to print out today so that you can uh, work through the scale in both fractions of an inch and decimal inch. All right. See you guys later.